Hello everybody, it is I, Aragama Witch, with another devlog or dev diary. I don't remember what I'm calling them on YouTube. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this is a little update on what's going on with my game. For those of you who are not a Patreon member, um, there's been some updates. Uh, the first thing is, is that I now have a Discord dedicated to the game. So if you're interested in getting some updates that aren't solely patreon you can find it there which will also include like work in progress images and just like little little itty bitty update things and stuff like that um yeah uh but as far as like <clears throat> what i've been doing because the last time was just before the demo was about to be released i think and it did and if you haven't played it it's over on steam i'll have a link down in the description um and you can also wishlist the game there. Uh, your wishlists mean a lot to me. <laughs> we uh, currently now have it on over 200 wishlists, which uh, might not seem like a big number, but for me, I am very excited that that many people are interested in my game. Uh, yes. So uh, there's a few things that I was doing. So when I was starting to work on chapter one, uh, because the demo is the prelogue, I realized that the way that I have the art set up, it's kind of, not only does the art style feel a bit detailed for what I'm doing, it's also limited in how I can like rig it for live 2D since there are live 2D. So I decided that I wanted to redo all the art kind of similar more in this style. So it's simpler, but it's still nice to look at. And this will make things more consistent when I decide to do uh, like the CGs, like the little cutscene images and stuff, because it's hard to kind of keep. I have a few uh, art. I have a few of the art done, um, and then there's some that I still have work in progress on. Um, I've started to rig up uh, the main character Colleen, and she kind of has like a lot going on for her. Now, one of the things I originally wanted to do is rig the arms for the characters separately, so that way they have a much more wider range of motion, but unfortunately, the way things are going, I'm not able to do that. It just doesn't look good. It looks stiff like you're bending a doll's arm, and I don't really like that. And I would prefer to be able to do it where there's much more depth. And I think there is a technically a way I could probably do it in Live 2D, but it is requiring techniques that I... that are very, very advanced. Very, very advanced. <laughs> um, and, like, I understand the concept of them, but I don't think I could do them in practice. So instead, I'm going to go back to the way the arms were. So they're going to kind of, like, fade in and out. That's what I'm... <laughs> that's what I'm going to work on. So for every outfit, there's going to be a bunch of different arms and a bunch of different poses. So that's something I'm not doing right now. But I get to look forward to. <laughs> and I get to do it for all the goddamn characters. <laughs> As far as the story is going, I've been steadily working on it. Now, as mentioned before, I kind of write it as sort of like novel, then it goes into script, and then it goes into the game. Um, and in the novel-ish format, I'm at like 148 pages, which is getting pretty close to where I want it to be, um, to be wrapped up, which is roughly 28 chapters but uh i have some editing down some of those chapters so chances are when the final game comes out it's not going to be as long uh that being said it's also probably not going to be as long as like my quote unquote novel version is but who knows the novel version right now is about um just shy of a hundred thousand words so <laughs> yeah, it'll take maybe an hour or so to read it, depending on your look. Some people read really fast, some people are like, oh yeah, that's an hour, and other people are like, that's that's like a, that's ten hours. I don't know what you're talking about, so. <laughs> um, yeah, yes. Besides that, I um, started working on the opening video for the game, so 
after the uh, either between the prologue or chapter one and two, I'm going to have like the opening video probably after the prologue. It seems like it makes the most sense, really. But um, <laughs> and it's going to be animated. It's going to be hand animated. And I've been working on that. Um, it is very, very, very time consuming. I, I need you to understand it's very time consuming. Uh, I think it took me three days to do about 10 seconds of animation. And it takes me three days to do 10 seconds. And then afterwards my shoulder hurts because I have that bum shoulder. So, uh... Yeah, that, that's going to be something I do in bits and pieces. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, as far as, like, if I'm keeping on track with, on my schedule or not, I'm kind of... I might be a little behind. I wanted to be a little further along than this, but also it's because I'm redoing all the artwork. Not the backgrounds. I think the backgrounds are fine. I might update them just a little bit, but I think overall the backgrounds are good where they are. Oh, my game. Okay, so um, something that has been added to my game, thanks to my husband helping me out with it, is I've added rich presents, uh, I guess, code to the game. Which basically means when you're playing on Steam, you're, you know where it says, like, so-and-so is playing this game? Well, this will say you're playing this game, and then it'll say what chapter you're on. So, uh, I'm excited about that. <laughs> that. That was a heck of a thing trying to, like, um, put together. I went through so much and, like, ultimately my husband was able to figure it out. But it took a little while because there's, like, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it was just, it was just a pain. Um, I, I really wish I had more that I could be like, oh, yeah, I've got all this stuff done. But honestly, like, it just feels like... I don't have that much to really show. Like, things take so long. Um, I did make emotes for the Past the Moon Towards the Sun Discord. So if, you know, you want some of them. Uh, it also kind of shows off some of the other characters. So right now I have it, like, I've sent, like, five chapters off to an editor. Got a couple kicked back and they've been kicked over to the other editor and I'm just waiting for those to come back. Um, but I feel that once I can get the whole story kicked through the editors, like, it will, like, go a lot quicker, especially once the artwork's done. I'm sorry if this feels a little all over the place and it's not scripted. Most of my shit I do is not scripted. And I know people have been like, um, Argama, you should definitely script your videos because I'm tired of hearing your ums. And I'm like, you would hear the ums even if I was reading a script. But I don't know. For some reason, whenever I script, I sound weird when I read. I just, I just sound different. And it sounds unnatural to me and it makes me cringe. And so I, <laughs> I don't, I don't script my videos. So if you don't like the ums, I'm sorry. Uh, eto. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that's all I really have to say for the update for now. Um, for those of you who are following along on this game, I really appreciate that you are. And, uh, for those of you who have wishlist my game, I fucking love you guys so much. <laughs> uh, if you want to support the game, you know, I got that Patreon, um... And you'll also get to see the devlogs, which I try to do every week, but it's been kind of more sparse because things take a little longer, uh, especially when I'm dealing with a bum shoulder or my dog because a lot of the stuff's artwork and yeah. Anyways, remember that I appreciate you. I love you. And sometimes I work on this over on Twitch, so you can always go check me out over there and I'll see you guys hopefully when I have a lot more to show you. Okay. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>